everyone, my name is Tamlin and this is my channel Sewing on the Tight. I'm going to be making videos all about sewing and my dressmaking journey. I'll be doing things like plans videos, what I've been making, fabric hauls, pattern hauls, challenges that I'm involved in. So if that's the sort of thing that you're into. If you'd like to subscribe below that would be amazing and you'll get to see some more of me. Hi everyone, so I've just watched the edit back and I can't believe how many times I say the word gorgeous. I hope it doesn't annoy you too much. I definitely need to get a thesaurus and find some alternatives for next time. Hope you enjoy the video. First of all, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. So this is a Nina Lee Southbank sweater. It is made in this gorgeous sparkly knit jersey from Sew Me Sunshine. And this is my gorgeous new Tatty Divine necklace that I got in the sale, um, the post Christmas sale. I always get something, I always treat myself to a little Tatty Divine purchase and I just couldn't resist this one. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So today's video, as you can tell from the title, is a fabric haul. Now these fabrics are from the past couple of months, from the Black Friday sales, from my birthday which was in December, from Christmas and then also a couple of little purchases from the post Christmas sales. So there's quite a lot so I think we'll get started. Everything will be linked below and I'm going to go through it shop by shop so where, where I purchased them from or where they were bought for me from. I'll just have a bit of tea before we start. This mug by the way is from Anthropology. I got this last year and the tea I'm drinking is Pucker 3 Mint Tea which is one of my faves. I'll start off with Satisfaction. I love Satisfaction. I love Shona and following her on YouTube and Instagram. So I've made a couple of purchases from there. I'll start off with this lovely glitter cuffing. So this is just to use for the cuffs of sweatshirts, things like that. It's lovely and sparkly and I just couldn't resist it. The next thing I'll show you is some gorgeous floral crepe material. And this is called on the website I think Botanical Evening Triple Crepe. I got two meters of this and I'm planning on making some portobello trousers by Nina Lee. I think they'll be absolutely gorgeous. The next thing that I got from Satisfaction was some brocade. So it's this midnight bloom brocade. Gorgeous floral design. And I just got a metre of this because I'm just planning on making a skirt with it. Possibly the Tilly and the Buttons nest skirt or something else, I'm not sure yet. But I just thought that would make a lovely statement piece to wear with like a plain, plain black top, plain black tights, some high heels and be perfect for going out. Not that I go out, but you know, go out, go out for a meal or go to a nice bar or something like that. And the final thing from Satisfaction is some burgundy viscose crepe. This is their Rio viscose crepe. I think they do this in a few different colours, but I got this gorgeous burgundy colour, which is one of my faves, my favourite colours. I got three metres of this and I'm planning on making the Sierra jumpsuit from Paper Cut Patterns. And I'll probably have some left over, so I'll make something else with it as well but I absolutely love it and the quality of this fabric is just gorgeous. Right the next thing I'll show you is a birthday present that I got from my husband Sam and I actually pointed him in the direction of this and it's this gorgeous cat print French terry and he bought this from Lubadoo Fabrics and it's just so cute. It's Again, it feels so soft, it's lovely. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've got two cats, Chester and Ziggy, and I just love anything to do with cats. So this was just perfect. They only had a metre of this left when he bought it, so it's probably enough for me to make a nice simple top, maybe an Agnes top, Tilly the Buttons Agnes top or something like that. But I just absolutely love it, it's so cute. The next couple of fabrics I've got to show you are from Lamazi Fabrics and these are fabrics that I got for my birthday from my mum. I did send her the links to these as I really liked them and she asked me for some pointers for what she could get me. And so the first one is this gorgeous navy and gold cotton jersey. It's called Kaleidoscope Cotton Jersey on the website. I got two metres of this. Again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really like the geometric design and again, the quality of it's really, really good. So I love that. Thank you, mum. The other fabric from my mum for my birthday from Lavazi Fabrics is this gorgeous navy background floral rifle paper company canvas, cotton linen canvas. And I got a metre and a half of this and I think I'm planning on making a pinafore dress. But I fell in love with this when I saw Tilly from Tilly and the Buttons wearing a nest skirt in 
either the same fabric or a very very similar fabric and I just loved it so yeah my mum treated me to some of that for my birthday so I love that. Alright next up we've got a couple of fabrics from Sew Me Sunshine. I love Sew Me Sunshine. Harriet's just wonderful and it's probably one of my favourite online fabric shops to purchase from. So Sam, my husband, treated me to a couple of her fabrics for my birthday. Now these aren't for dressmaking probably, these are more for things like makeup bags that I make, purses, that sort of thing, smaller projects. But he actually chose these himself which is really lovely. I had nothing to do with this so it was a lovely surprise. So he got me this gorgeous cotton and steel cotton with these trainers on which is just super cute and the stars. So I love that, I've got a metre of that. And he also got me this lovely navy cotton with um, cacti and succulents all over. Again I think I've got a metre of that so I look forward to using those in some little projects. Thank you Sam. More tea. Right, next up I've got a few fabrics to show you from Guthrie & Garney which is just such a beautiful shop and the range of fabrics that Lauren stocks is just gorgeous and I had the absolute pleasure of going there in the summer last year to do a three day sewing workshop and that really, although I'd done a bit of dressmaking before I went there, that was just the thing that completely got me hooked. Spending three days in Lauren's gorgeous studio, going into the shop, stroking some fabric, spending a little bit of money on some fabric, that really just got me absolutely hooked on dressmaking. And I'm really grateful to Lauren and to Layla, who was the tutor, because I just learned so much. It was a lovely group of people that were there and yeah, it was just a fantastic experience that really kick-started my journey, I would say, in dressmaking. But anyway, so the fabrics I purchased from Guthrie & Garney. The first one is just a little treat to myself that I bought on my birthday, I think. And it's this lovely floral cotton viscose needle cord. I think it's called Mulberry on the website. And I got just over a metre of this with the plan to make a nest skirt by Tilly and the Buttons. I think that'd be gorgeous. It's so soft. It feels really, really lovely. So I'm looking forward to using that. Now the next one is really special. So my cousin Andrea lives in Tasmania and is really supportive of my sewing and my journey and she's always interested in what I'm doing. And for my birthday she sent me some money and said that I could use it to buy some fabric. So I wanted to buy something really special that maybe I wouldn't usually treat myself to. So I looked on Guthrie and Garney, again that's my, sort of my go-to for really special fabrics, and I saw this absolutely gorgeous metallic rainbow jacquard. Now it's stunning, you can see it's got all these different colours, and it looks like little dots of colours, but if you turn it over, I'll turn it over now, you can see where it's where the different colours are woven through, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited to use that. Again, I'm, I'm not completely decided on what I'm going to make. I've got a metre and a half. I'm hoping I might be able to squeeze out the Avid Seamstress day dress, possibly, but I would definitely like to use both sides of the fabric in some way because it would just be such a shame to lose that gorgeous reverse side of the fabric. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using that and thank you so much, Andrea, my lovely cousin in Tasmania. Right, I've got three more fabrics to show you from Guthrie and Garney and these were purchased with money that my nana and my mum gave me for Christmas. So they gave me some money and said please buy some lovely fabric to make some new clothes with. So again I decided I wanted to treat myself and get some things maybe a bit more expensive, a bit more luxurious that I'd, I wouldn't usually purchase myself. So the first one that I'll show you is this lovely viscose fabric. It's a Dashwood Studio Climbing Roses. It's got this sort of charcoal, slightly brown background with these gorgeous peach and pink floral design all over. Now this I got two meters of and I think I'm going to make possibly a dress with this or a long maxi skirt. So I love that, really lightweight, really drapey, absolutely gorgeous. And the next one I'll show you is this gorgeous Nanny Eero cotton double gauze. It's on this light pink background and it's got these polka dots on of these lovely bright colours. I love that really bright pink 
and it's just so cute. I've eyed this up for quite some time but never quite got round to treating myself to it so when I got some money for Christmas I was really excited to be able to purchase this. I got a metre and a half, I'll make some kind of top with it, probably more in the summer rather than anytime soon but I really love that one. And the last fabric I've got from Guthrie and Garney to show you is this gorgeous French terry sweatshirt fabric. It's Atelier Brunette. It's this sort of really dark, I can't work out if it's black or really really dark blue and it's got these gorgeous gold flecks all over it. I've got a metre and a half of that and I'll make some sort of sweatshirt or possibly like a sweater dress just for something a bit more special but I really love that and the back of it is so soft, it feels amazing. See I'm really excited to use that. Right, the last fabrics I've got to show you are from John Lewis. I popped into the Cheltenham branch of John Lewis when I was there over Christmas and treated myself to a couple of things from their amazing post-Christmas sale. So they had a big section of fabrics, three shelves full of half price fabrics. So I looked at them, I took my time and I settled on three to buy. So the first one is a viscose and it was reduced to four pounds a metre, so from eight pounds a metre reduced to four pounds a metre. It's got these gorgeous red flowers on, it's a navy blue background and I've got three metres of that so I'll be using that for some kind of dress probably in the summer. The next one is another viscose, floral viscose. This time it's got more of the dark blue background and the smaller flowers on and I think I'm planning on making Probably another marigold, Tilly and the Buttons marigold jumpsuit or something like that. Again, this was £8 a metre reduced to £4 a metre and I got three metres of that. And the last one is a little bit different to my usual style. Not that I think I have a style, but something about this just drew me to it. I think it's the blue and the teal colours. But this is a cotton. It's got these gorgeous flowers on, these little polka dots on the background. And I just loved all of the different shades of blue with the hints of yellow. So I got two metres of that. This was a bit more expensive, it was £7 a metre, reduced from £14 a metre. I got two metres of that and I'm planning on making a dress in the summer. If we're invited maybe to a wedding or something like that, I think it would make a really nice occasion dress. By the way, I apologise if I've got little bits of thread anywhere on me because I feel like holding up all those bits of fabric, I've got little bits of thread everywhere. So that's all from me today, that's the end of my fabric haul little fabric haul. I'll leave all the links down below if the fabrics are still in stock. If they're not, I'll still link to the retailer just so you can go and have a look at what other gorgeous fabrics they've got. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and you'll get to see more videos. And I'd love down below if you were to write in the comment section which one of those fabrics was your favourite and what you would do with it if it was yours. But thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye. Cut.